This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on accounting for branches, dependent branch, data system. Observe the sum that I intend to solve here before you on the screen. Look at the sum. The same sum I have solved and explained in my previous video. But there was a difference that I am bringing to your notice. Just observe. Creamy Traders Limited invoice goods to their various branches at cost and the branches sales on credit as well as for cash. All cash received by the branch is remitted to head office daily. So cash sales proceeds are required to be remitted to HO. Collection from letters is totally required to be remitted to HO. Then what about expenses? The head office sends cash for expenses. So this is the cash sent by head office for expenses. Out of this cash sent, these are the expenses paid by branch. From the following details relating to the Surat branch, show the Surat branch account, branch debtors account, branch cash account, trading profit and loss account in the books of head office. Now this is the details of the sum. Opening balance of assets given to the branch at the beginning of the year. Closing balance of assets that is taken away from the branch at the end of the year because branch do not have a separate legal existence. During the year, these are the transactions that have taken place. Goods received from HO, goods returned to HO, total sales, allowances to debtors, return from debtors, sales return, discount allowed to debtors, bad debt. This is the cash sent for expenses. Out of this cash sent, these are the expenses paid. Now let me prepare branch account from this information just observe the screen. So this is branch account, here debtors account that I prepare in my working note, here I prepare branch cash account. Now let me start with the sum. Debtors at the beginning of the year, debtors at the beginning of the year given to the branch, branch account debit to debtors account credit. Same debtors opening balance is recorded in the debtors account is opening balance. Losing balance of debtors is recorded to the credit side of branch account. Debtors are absorbed by head office in its books of accounts. Branch debtors account debit to branch account credit. The closing balance of debtors is recorded in the debtors account. Closing balance in this fashion. Stock given to the branch at the beginning of the year. Branch account debit to stock account. Whatever the stock left to the left with the branch at the end of at the end of the year is taken away mostly by head office in its books of accounts stock account debit to branch account credit now these are the transactions during the year goods received from HO means goods sent to branch branch account debit to goods sent to branch account credit when the goods are written the reverse entry goods sent to branch account debit to branch account credit total sales cannot be recorded here from total sales I will deduct the credit sale and find out the cash sales and those cash sales proceeds will be remitted by branch to HO as per instruction. So allowances credited to debtors account. This allowance is granted to the debtors is a transaction between branch and debtors. It is not recorded in the books in the books of HO in the branch account because it is not a transaction between HO and branch. Return from debtors, sales return recorded here on the credit side of debtors account in a working note. Discount allowed. Credit side of debtors account in working note, bad debts. Credit side, cash receipt from debtors that is remitted. Cash receipt from debtors are remitted by branch to HOS per instruction. Same way, all cash sales proceeds are remitted by branch to HOS per instruction. So collection from debtors is remitted. For that, the entries cash account debit to branch account credit. And it is also recorded in this debtors account. On the basis of this debtors account, I can find out the credit sales. But before that, let me consider. This is the credit sales. Now total sales minus credit sales is equal to cash sales. This cash sales proceeds are also remitted to the HO by branch. So cash account debit to branch account credit, cash sales proceeds. Now, this is the cash sent to the branch for meeting with the expenses. So, in a working note, branch cash account is prepared. 
This cash receipts will be recorded in the receipt side. To be recorded in the receipt side. And this cash is sent to the branch for expenses. Branch is the receiver of this cash. So branch account debit to cash account. And the same cash will be recorded here on the receipt side. From these receipts, branch pays the expenses. The expenses paid by the branch is, is not to HO. It is not a transaction between branch and HO. It is a transaction between branch and the rest of the world. So it will not appear in this branch account. The payment made by branch for expenses will be deducted from this cash receipts. So it will be recorded in this working note on the payments and cash paid for. Rents and rates, wages and general charges. After that cash balance found at the end of the accounting period, it is an asset with the branch at the end of the year. All the assets at the branch at the end of the year are absorbed, are merged by head office in its books of accounts. So this cash is absorbed in the books of HO. So cash account debit to branch account credit. So all the assets are taken by HO at the end of the year in its books of accounts. On the basis of that, if you try to find out the profit, it will be same. It is 7,900. Now on the basis of this information, if I am required to prepare trading and profit and loss account, and if I try to find out the profit, the profit is going to be same as, as I have found out by preparing branch account. Now let me prepare this trading and profit and loss account. Opening balance of returns cannot be recorded. So it is removed from this one. Opening stock, trading account debit side. Good send, good send to the branch is just like purchases for the branch. So trading account debit side. This is cash sent for expenses. So cash sent for expenses are not the expenses. So this cannot be debited to the profit and loss account. The profit and loss account is to be debited with the actual expenses. So this cash sent for expenses cannot be recorded in this profit and loss account. So both the things are not considered in this trading and profit and loss account. Similarly, cash sent for wages is not the exactly actual wages paid. The actual wages paid is to be debited to profit and loss account. So cash sent for wages cannot be recorded in the debit side of profit and loss account. Same way, general charges are also cash sent for general charges cannot be recorded in profit and loss account. So it is taken care, it is, it is removed from this list. Now, next, goods returned by branch deducted from goods and cash sales trading account credit side. Collection from returns cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss account, so it is removed. Closing cash balance also cannot be recorded in this trading and profit and loss account. Closing stock will go to the credit side of trading account. Closing balance of returns cannot be recorded in this trading and profit and loss account, so removed. Now, credit sale, trading account credit side. Allowance is debited to profit and loss account. Sales is deducted from sales to the credit, on the credit side of trading account, bad debts, debited to profit and loss account. Discount allowed, debited to profit and loss account. Now, these are the actual expenses paid, so it will be debited to profit and loss account. Rent and taxes, rent and rates, wages debited to profit trading account, general charges, debited to profit and loss account. Now find out the gross profit, transfer the gross profit to the credit side of profit and loss account, find out the net profit, the net profit will be same as this one. So this is what I have prepared initially, I prepared branch account and found out the profit on the basis and these are the two working notes that I have prepared. On the basis of this branch account and working notes, I have prepared this trading and profit and loss account and the profit found is exactly same, notice it. So this is how, by this sum, the third option is explained. Cash is sent for expenses out of cash sent the expenses paid by the branch. And the remaining cash balance left at the end of the year is absorbed by head office. This is a difference in this sum as compared to the previous lecture. Wherein I have solved the same sum with two different options. So expenses incurred at the branch. For its accounting in debtors method, there could be three options. One, all the expenses of branch paid by HO. 
all expenses of the branch are paid by branch itself out of the cash sales proceeds and collection from debtors is a second option and in third option cash sent to the branch for expenses out of that cash sent expenses paid by the branch so these are the three options which i wanted to make clear to you and for with that in my with that end in my mind i have produced this second video and by looking both the videos you will understand the accounting of expense under various terms and conditions under debtor system so this is how i have tried to explain you this sum i feel that you have followed all these things thanks to all.